Welcome and thank you for joining us for Vespers with the Psalms. Vespers, what is that you might ask? Well, liturgically speaking, Vespers, or even Song, is one of the seven daily calls to prayer in the Divine Office or the Office of Prayer, which is a resource used by millions of Christians around the world. This daily guide is a consistent reminder as the Apostle Paul implores all Christ followers to pray without ceasing. Therefore, one of the goals for asking you to join us on this journey over the next six weeks is to have a daily call or reminder to pray and meditate. And having chosen Vespers, our call will be for you to focus on God's Word, specifically at night, after dinner, or maybe even before bed. We will use the Psalms as our guide. Each of the six weeks will focus on a larger categorical theme for the Psalms, while highlighting one Psalm from that theme to meditate on each day. As we go forward, you will notice that there will be some repetition in the way we move through each Vesper service. Some items will change daily, some weekly, and some will even remain the same for the entire series. That's on purpose. Rather than following the impulse to say and do something different every day, our goal is to have you find comfort and security in allowing the rhythm of repetition to guide you into a consistent posture of prayer. For this first week, we are focusing on Psalms of Praise. Psalms of Praise do just that. They praise God. These psalms, often lighthearted and jubilant in nature, exalt the name and works of God. The most common phrase you'll experience while reading these psalms is simply, Praise the Lord. These psalms were often used by the nation of Israel as calls to worship and prayer, focusing on God as exalted and awesome. As we hear and meditate, on these psalms this week. Take a moment, not only to find the heart of the psalmist in these beautiful words, but your own feelings of adoration and praise to God. As we begin our time together, let's turn our attention to our breathing. First, find yourself in a posture of rest and stillness. If you're in the car or running errands, as you watch this video, consider pausing it now and coming back to the video when you can be less distracted. Once you are settled, maybe in your favorite chair in the family room, a well-worn bench on the back porch in your garden, or even lying in your bed, come to a place of rest. As you settle, be aware of your breathing. Your breath has been your unmanaged source of life all day. Without it, you wouldn't even make it a matter of seconds. And yet it keeps going on, sustaining you constantly. So take a moment to acknowledge your breath and bring it under your control. Take a big breath in and hold it for just a moment. And slowly let it out. Let's try that again. Deep breath in and hold it. And slowly release. As you breathe in again and hold it, think of how important your breath is for every moment of your life. And as you slowly release, be thankful for the gift of breath God gave you today and be mindful of the breath it will take to navigate the night as you sleep. As you continue to slow and control your breathing, focus on the words and music of this beautiful hymn of praise.
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy. With those words in our ears, on our lips, in our minds, and on our hearts, let's read this invocation together. Please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. Though evening has come, our praises carry on through the night. As the sunlight departs, open the eyes of our heart that see without light. Fine tune our praises as darkness falls, that your name will be on our lips even as we rest. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Each week we'll have a theme song that highlights our psalm category for the week. This week, our theme is Psalms of Praise, and our hymn of the week is Revive Us Again, or is also known as We Praise Thee, O God.
Our scripture reading for tonight's Vespers is Psalm 100. As you continue to be at rest, listen and reflect on God's word. Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Take a moment now and reflect on this psalm of praise. Praise God through the words of the psalmist or use it as an inspiration to pour out your own psalm of praise to God. In a few moments, we'll return to hear the refrain of the psalm one more time and then speak together our benediction as we conclude. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And now as we close this day with our benediction, please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. And now as you end this day with hearts and thoughts on God, May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord, we receive your blessing, not only in the light, but also as we take our rest in the dark. Turn your face toward us and grant us peace as we rest in you. And now, as we are bold to say, our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.